M0 FXP, welcome back to my videos learning the Zygu G106. We're using the DE19 module here, which you can just see there. I'm going to quickly show you how it's connected. We do have my antenna tuner on top, and if I do a quick transmit or test tune, you'll see that I've got 5 watts coming out. There you go, 5 and a bit. And there you go, OK SWR. Um, strong signal here on the left coming in from the Zygu on FTA. So firstly, we've got the ACC lead, which comes standard with this D19 module, plugged into ACC. And then we've got the CAT lead going into CAT. We're not using the, the, the amp. And then we've got a normal micro, normal USB-C which you can see there, just going to the computer, just the normal, it needs to be a, obviously a data lead. So that's to the actual D9, D19. On the G106, that's nice and clear when once it zooms. Nice and clear there. You've got the com going into the com. That comes from the com to the CIV and the easy thing about the ACC connector just here it goes to the ACC connector on the DE19 so let's change bands just on the left here you can see it's changing bands the radio is changing change again 20 I haven't tried 20 but if we hit the tune, let's see if it goes into error, and then I'll show you the settings. Yeah, it has gone into error. We'll do that again. I'll go back to 40, because it wasn't giving the error in 40. And let's go to our sound settings. Go file top left. settings let's move that so you can see it remember this is my first time of doing this if you right click device manager to look at our com usb serial right click properties we're doing it on 19200 at the moment Close that, and then so here, board rate 19200, COM 17. I've left that at CAT, seemed to have worked. If you go test CAT, it was it was actually shown that it was working. So then we'll go file, settings, audio. These are the only two that are showing up for me. Speaker to USB audio, microphone to USB audio. And we can adjust that just by right clicking where the speaker is, sound settings. And we can adjust, yeah, just here, look, with the slider on the output and the input to make sure that when this signal is being received here, this green one on the left, uh, that it's not, you know, it's not in the red. So then if I just go tune, it's go the radio you can see goes into transmit. We've the frequency has been set for us. We've got it on new USB digital on the radio. To change on the radio, you just press the the, the top button where it says mode, and you can cycle through. And the antenna tuner, which is an ATU100M, it's just a patch lead to the radio. It's a very basic set. So if I just go enable TX, it does, as you can see, TX. I haven't had any contacts yet. Uh, I can see a sort of TX signal just sort of here coming out the radio. The power, if we press the settings, go TX power, we got it on high. And you can see that the ATU is showing about five, five and a half watts. So I feel like we've set it all up correctly. The DE19 is doing its job where it's basically turned these signals in the back into a USB signal 
that we've got here going into our PC. And it's doing the whole Auto TX thing. All I need is a contact really and then I'll be happy. <laughs> and you can see it's Auto TX in. And if we look beneath the radio, what I tend to do is just find a gap where there's not lots of activity, right click, set TX RX. And now I'm just going to see if I can just find, I did see on one of the websites there was some recommended, uh, a PDF with some recommended settings. We're going to have a quick look at that. So we've got this document here that I will put a link in from the Radiology site. I'm just looking at the settings. The so radio, they're actually putting down that we should select the 705, so I will try that. Cat. And then you've got your usual, it is 19200 they're recommending as well. They selected data and fake it there, 9 and 10. Um, note, new version equals 1.8. And firmware version 1.3. Yeah, and I've got the firmware version 1.3 on my device. So let's quickly tweak those settings to what they've shown. Uh, although it's, it's working, it's just we're not getting a contact, so um, let's do that. So we go back to File, Settings. They've selected 705. And where's that gone? 705. And they ticked these two. Click OK. Just double show you. So 705. I haven't really changed anything apart from these two ticks here. They've got these set to low. DTR and RTS low. And I'll just show you my uh, settings. Audio, it's just these are the only two that show up really. Apart from, you know, my other devices. I, I haven't changed any of the colours or anything like that. So, tune. It's still working, even though I've changed to a different radio. So let's go, let's double click one of these. And enable TX. And, um, I mean, it's just tink always tinkering, having fun. We're in transmit. So it all seems to be working fine. It sets the frequency for us. So if you look here, I just put in PSK reporter, which tells you, you know, where your signal's going. Um, and it's, I've said it, I've put your call sign here at the top. I've put FTA 15 minutes and look, you know, we're getting out. I tap here, M0FXB. So I'm being received. Well, that's a good sign. See how far up in the world we're being received. Um, probably not that far, but. <laughs> Uh, go. Yeah, it seems to be mainly Europe. I need a be better antenna set up. But look, I'm going right up to Norway there. I'm not trying to get around the world. I just want to see if I'm if it's working. There you are. So I'm definitely being received, and I'll put the link in the PSK reporter as well. But there's one minute there. M7 DJX. If I just minimise that, M7 DJX, trying to find him now, it could just be bad luck. So overall, I feel like I've got it working. The D19, if you're buying the, the G106, some people are offering that included. Now. You know, there's a lot of reviews on this. 
and some of the earlier ones were poor but I feel like it's a really good set for the price um, no it doesn't have a tuner but you can buy an ATU 100 for 60 pounds and you've got a tuner it's 5 watt but I've been testing it with my PA50 amp and it works fine let's try another one here and um, it, the audio is fine I mean, people have talked about adding a, a connector for a speaker I don't think it needs it you just plug it into the microphone the mic you can either use the microphone or you press the the volume button and you and then it's, you've got the speaker on the radio it's up to you they both sound the same to me Um, easy to change bands, just up and down on the top and modes and you've got a big menu there, well not big, you press the big VFO for a menu, I've got the latest firmware which I've made a video adding. So I, I can't see, I, I'm not really see well, why there should be any negative reviews about this device for the price range it is, you know, £200 and you're on the HF bands and you can do digi modes. The D19 I think they're about £35 to £40. Uh, and I'm sure it'd be useful to do all modes, all digital modes. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You know, I'm I'm not an expert on any of this equipment, but what I do do is I'll sit here and I'm a user, a user expert, let's say, and I will actually use it and see, can I go on HF? Can I have contacts? All right, I've been a bit unlucky. We're not getting any, um, I'll keep trying actual FT8 contacts yet. Um, but I, I'm not going to give up and if it does, I've seen this before where for a while it feels like it's not and then all of a sudden you've got loads of contacts. I mean it's here in the morning, it's 10am in the UK and you know in America everyone's asleep but Europe is awake so I should be getting something. I'm showing up on PSK Reporter. You know, we just could go again. So I'm showing up. So I'm not sure why I'm not getting any contacts. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to uh, please subscribe to me. It does mean a lot if you subscribe to me, then I know you've appreciated my content. And um, hit the like, you'll get notified. And thank you very much for watching my channel. If you want to, buy me a coffee. You don't have to, but if you do, I will definitely buy a coffee. Bye for now.